Hey friends, welcome to Tori Talks TV. I'm Tori. On this episode, I'll be discussing my predictions for The Masked Singer Season 3, Group C. First up is The Dark Angel. I believe this is singer, songwriter, and Real Housewives of Atlanta star Candy Burris. Really, the main reason I believe it's her is because of her voice. I know that beautiful voice, and it sounds a lot like her. So another reason could be because we saw some old ladies behind one of the motel doors and she owns a restaurant called Old Lady Gang in Atlanta, Georgia. And also uh, behind one of the doors, some of the guys were wearing like duck bills and uh, that could have something to do with duck lips, like Real Housewives. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the astronaut. Now I always seem to have a kind of outlandish prediction in every group. So that would be this one. I think this is former child star, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Stick with me here, guys. I'll tell you my reasoning. All right, he said something about leaving his home planet and like maybe coming back to Earth. That could mean because he's kind of been out of the spotlight for a long time, so maybe he's trying to get back in it. There was also a floating toolbox. Um, I feel like that's probably a nod to Home Improvement, the show that he's most known for. There was tool time with Tim Taylor. He appeared to be pretty short for a man. He was like, I think he's five, six about. Um, also, he said he started at a young age. That would be the child star on the show, Home Improvement. And then he said, and I quote, the idea of endless possibilities gets my heart throbbing, which would lead me to believe he was a heart throb. And he was. And uh, I had posters of him on my wall, so. I can attest to that. All right, and then this could be super far-fetched, but he said something about, oh, brother, and that was actually the name of an episode on Home Improvement. I, I really liked that show. I know too much about that show. Let's move on now to the T-Rex. For some reason, I felt like I really knew who this was from the get-go. As soon as they came out, that energy, the kicking, the way they carried themselves, um, and I believe it to be... Jojo Siwa. Some other reasons are in the clue package, she sat on a baby doll and there literally is the Jojo Siwa baby doll like that. You can buy that. <laughs> um, also, she said something about being discovered by another, which could be Abby Lee from Dance Moms. And she said something about a sisterhood and we're all put together. And, and Dance Moms is a whole bunch of dancers, especially girls. She said something about a pirouette. I mean, this is all signs are pointing to to Jojo. So that's my guess. Let's move on to the rhino. This one kind of stumped me a little bit. The only guess that I have as of right now is country singer and ex-football player Sam Hunt. So some of my reasons, um, they showed the Grand Ole Opry and that's in Nashville and he mentioned something about always being on top and he got kind of addicted to the fame. In Nashville, he unfortunately got a DUI. Could have been something to do with him not feeling like he was on top anymore. Um, on top of the charts, I'm guessing. And then uh, the, they showed a tire, like a bike tire. I don't know what it was doing, but that could signify his um, dirt bike riding because he has. I know he used to do that. And then the picture of T, he's from Georgia. Georgia, T. Maybe something like that. Let me know what you think, because that one I'm not very confident about. Let's move on to the swan now. Another one I wasn't so sure about, but I've heard that voice before. Yeah, I think it's Bella Thorne. So the reason why we saw some vampire fangs in the clue package, and she owns a makeup brand called Filthy Fangs. There was also a ghost. I don't know if you guys know this, but she is being considered for a role as the female Ghost Rider in the movie Ghost Rider. So it could be that. Um, but mainly, I think with this one also, it's the voice that sounds just like her. She's a very good singer, very talented. All right, so then let's talk about the big reveal of the night. The bear is Sarah Palin. Oh my gosh, I did not see that coming. That was crazy. She wrapped Baby Got Back. I commend her. Good job, Sarah Palin. You, I think you stumped everybody. That was really cool of her to come out and do that. And um, yep, never would have thought it was her. 
That was really fun. Group C has been really fun so far. This whole season's been amazing. Um, but that is all I have for you. Let me know what your predictions are. And please like, comment, and subscribe if you could. I would so appreciate it. And then I'll see you next time with my final predictions for the finale. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.